Good evening, guys. We are live. Uh, Kitty, you unmuted yourself. Awesome. So I'm putting a lot of volume on my computer. So can you hear me? Uh, can you show me thumbs up? Can you guys hear me? Awesome. You guys, my name is Dr. Silverman. So I am not a veterinarian. Thanks, Rich. Uh, <laughs> I am a surgical pathologist. I look in the microscope diagnose cancers so right there so uh, and uh, but you know I am an animal owner I don't even know whether you can qualify as an animal owner because animals is a part of your life animals is a part of your family and my cat is a part of my soul uh, I don't know who chooses whom I believe that she chose me and I'm so blessed so bottom line, guys, we are so blessed today. My energy is just floating. I am happy. I am so happy. Okay, I already told some of you that I think I've uh, invited, I do this uh, sort of science seminars or knowledge seminars on a regular basis, and I've invited every who and who in life advantage, including incredible Dr. Natalie Chavro, who is the chief science officer. Kate, Dr. Katie Kangas was the hardest to get on the Zoom. It took me two plus years. I am so excited. So <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Katie. Oh, please guys, mute yourself. Please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. Uh, again, uh, I just muted everyone. So I am so excited, uh, Katie Kingus. Katie Kingus is a doctor of veterinary medicine, however, uh, and she owns and practices integrative veterinary care in San Diego, California, offering not only um, allopathic uh, veterinarian medicine, canine medicine, but indeed holistic and integrative. She achieved her CVA certification at the Chi Institute in 2008, followed by training in advanced acupuncture. And you will see the pictures of dogs with needles. I have never seen anything like that in my life. So cool. So um, she's got training in food therapy, herbal medicine, veterinary orthopedic manipulation. Her areas of special interest in clinical practice include obviously nutrition, food, dental health, pain management. She is indeed an author and researcher, so you can find her publications online. She's known um, nationally and internationally. She has a background also in a shelter medicine, working for 15 years with rescue dogs, homeless dogs, amazing. So um, she spends many years working with San Diego County Department of Animal Services and also served as a medical director of the San Diego Humane Society and SPCA for many years. And Dr. Kingus now is the only veterinarian uh, um, in the medical advisory board. That is an incredible, incredible honor and recognition. So before I, uh, I basically I bring uh, um, Dr. Kangas to teach us and today it's her floor. Uh, you know, I will tell you, it's, you know, she's going to teach us and talk to us about oxidative stress. And let me just tell you a couple words about, and the interesting thing is we are nutrigenomics. Oxidative stress, free radical damage on the cells. It's interesting, I just read a very recent paper that to eliminate that relentless, uh, consistent, age-dependent, environment-dependent uh, free radical damage has to be what is called endogenous. Endogenous means not enough what you eat. You need to upregulate your cells. You need to upregulate your cells. Uh, and that's what we do. We nutrigenome our uh, defense apparatus. We modify, we bring our cells to youth, to vibrancy, to proper machinery. 
uh, via different mechanisms, via NRF2 activation, via NRF1 activation, via probiotics that we have, uh, via omegas, and so on and so forth. And that's exactly apparently what we need to do with our animals because that's because as dr kangas is going to teach us dr kangas it is my honor and it is my joy to bring you on board please the floor is all yours welcome thank you thank you can you hear me okay awesome and it, i hope it will not take me another two years to get you back <laughs> Sveta, I just have to say it's my pleasure to be here. I will tell everyone that. And thank you so much, Dr. Silverman, for your uh, big appreciation. Boy, that's really, really uh, heartfelt. And I really appreciate that. And I know that because so many people adore their pets that this topic is or this, you know, uh, you know, attention to this sort of thing is is hopefully really exciting and, and will be as exciting for everybody else as it is for me. And I'm very pleased to be here. One of the reasons that it took me so long to get here is because I do so many things outside my practice. And as uh, Sveta mentioned, I lecture, I teach, I write and publish for several different magazines and teach a lot of things locally. So uh, it's just, uh, it's my pleasure to be here and I'm glad to finally get this in our schedule. So let me go ahead and get started. Can everyone see my screen just fine with the front slide? Okay, great. So the one thing that I didn't put in my bio for Sveta to read is that I did graduate from veter veterinary school in 1993. So I can't believe I can say I've actually been practicing for 25 years and 10, the last 10 years has been doing integrative medicine. So a decade now of holistic and integrative. And of course, that's where I really started applying the, you know, interest and using of natural means for healing. So when I met Life Vantage and Pro Tandem five years ago, this was just absolutely thrilling to me and I'm so I feel so rewarded being able to share this information in my practice to my clients and I tell them all the time I'm thrilled to tell you about this for your pet and I'm equally thrilled to tell you about this for you at the same time and I truly believe that this product is one of the best things that you can spend your money on for yourself and for your pet and we'll talk about why of course so let me proceed and I am going to can you see the slide change? Okay, great. So I'm gonna make a disclaimer and say that I don't work with horses. As Feta said, I work with dogs and cats, unless you count Great Danes as close to a horse, because I do see a lot of Great Danes. This is Savannah on the left side of the screen, and she's got a bunch of acupuncture needles in. A kitty on the right side named Flick, who's also sitting next to her mother's very fashionable kitty purse in the background. I thought that was a pretty cute shot. But I do acupuncture on dogs and cats on a regular basis. I practice herbal medicine and I work with a lot of other modalities, including nutrition. This is the, uh, my logo and my practice, as mentioned, is in San Diego. The, uh, my website's right here. If you ever wanna find me or jump on my website, I do blogs and newsletters. I really like to educate pet owners. So that's uh, something you can sign up for my blogs and get some information. We also have Facebook postings and things like that where we put good information out. And you can see from the next set of pictures how much I love my job. I love doing what I do. I literally love going to work every day. Uh, I'm so rewarded with the work that I do. I, I celebrate my patients' birthdays. You can see Cheyenne in the middle of the slide wearing all the gold garland on. Um, she was a patient that came to me with cancer that wasn't expected to live very long, and we got to celebrate a birthday they never thought she would celebrate. So I, I get very, very happy about seeing my patients and making a difference in their lives and their people's lives and uh, really enjoy the work that I do. So let me move on. And as you can see, Again, doing acupuncture in a lot of my patients, uh, many of my clients actually post pictures from the exam room onto Facebook. And so we have fun looking at all the postings that our clients do checking in. And this is a pit bull named Bluebell who's absolutely adorable and getting some good acupuncture along with other treatment modalities that I do. 
Although I use acupuncture and herbal medicine and homeopathy and, and even other therapies too, as ozone therapy, laser therapy, all kinds of things. My passion is nutrition and food medicine. And this is why ProTandem and Life Vantage are so special for me. And I get so jazzed up about recommending this supplement because food is truly medicine that you're putting in your body every day. And it is, you know, one of the most, it's, it's the foundation of health. It's one of the most important things that we need to address for the uh, health of our pets and ourselves. And so the neat thing is, is Dr. Sveta mentioned nutrigenomics, which I'm thrilled about. And of course, this is the science of studying how nutrients impact the genome or impact the DNA of animals and of us. And the neat thing is, is on the Western or conventional medicine side of things, this is considered cutting edge. But when you're talking holistic medicine or age old medicine, this is old school. So I love how we are meshing cutting edge with old school wisdom in that we're using food to help the body to balance better, be more resilient to disease, and to repair uh, damage on a cellular basis or on a cellular level. And speaking of, as a holistic practitioner, I really, really, it's important to me to address the root cause of illness and imbalance in the body. And conventional medicine clearly has its strengths, urgent care needs, surgery needs, those are all, you know, fantastic things to have avail available in modern day medicine. But conventional medicine usually falls short of really resolving issues on a deep level when we're talking chronic disease or degenerative disease changes. And of course, more people luckily are getting awareness about more prevention for themselves and their pets and keeping healthy rather than waiting until you're already in a disease pattern and you have to play catch up. The beauty of ProTandem and the NERF2 pathway, which we're gonna talk about tonight, is that if there's already a disease pattern set in, absolutely, this product is gonna help. And activating the NERF2 pathway and reducing oxidative stress is always gonna help. But I, I really like to educate people, don't wait until your pet or yourself or your family member, or your human family member, has a disease condition or an illness problem to spend the money on ProTandem because staying ahead of the game and Staying healthy and helping our cells or your pet cells uh, correct the damage as it's occurring before we're in a full-on disease pattern is obviously way more effective than trying to play catch up. So keeping in the prevention mode is always a plus. And as I mentioned, I really like to get to the root level and try and help the body heal itself and balance itself and overcome any changes that are occurring in the body that are lending to disease. And so the beauty of the NERF2 pathway is talk about getting to the root of the root. We're getting to the cellular level of where all disease and degenerative conditions start at the basic cell. And so I'm sure most of you are aware the NERF2 protein is a protein messenger that exists inside every single cell in the body and triggers the DNA well, its, its job is to sense oxidative stress, which is essentially inflammation, damage to the cells. And then it notifies the DNA that, hey, we need to send in the fix-it crew here. We need to make more glutathione. We need to make more superoxide dismutase and turn on anti-inflammatory and detoxification pathways. So now we're really addressing the root level of what where things are starting to occur. And of course... Animals and people are so affected by oxidative stress because it is occurring in every cell of the body. Free radical damage is what's lending to oxidative stress. And there are so many things that cause free radical damage. And we now know that oxidative stress is associated with pretty much every disease that you can name. And it affects every single cell in the body, meaning it's going to affect every tissue every organ and every body system. I think there's somebody that might need to be muted. There's a bunch of background noise, if you guys can hear it. Um, so anyway, that is one of You got muted, Dr. Kangas. Thank you. 
Can you hear me? All right, great. So because oxidative stress is affecting every single tissue in the body, every single organ system in the body, when we have a tool like this, an incredible tool like this to help us address oxidative stress, it is such a bang for the buck for your pet and for yourselves because there are so many supplements out there that, you know, I work a lot with nutritional supplements and you know, I love food medicine, I love to heal with food, but this is such a special tool because there are so many supplements that work really well for supporting the liver or really well for supporting joints or really well for supporting heart or cardiac system. But when you put pet tandem in your pet's body or pro tandem in your body, you are helping every single cell, every single tissue. So it's a lot of bang for the buck. So that's why I really tell people this is, this is really good money spent right here to address health. And so you can tell how jazzed up I am about this topic and the things that I have seen with this supplement too. And so I will uh, let you know, I wrote several articles on this that have been published in various uh, medical journals. The American Holistic Veterinary Medical Association Journal, that's the cover and the article that you're seeing here, published uh, my article on Nerf 2 Review and Oxidative Stress. There is product mention for ProTandem, and that was before Pet Tandem Canine Health, at the uh, end of the article. And the same article appeared in the VBMA Journal, Veterinary Botanical Medical Association, uh, a few months later. And then Dogs Naturally asked me to uh, write, for, write an article on the same topic for them, which is very, very awesome. Uh, I've been speaking and, and uh, writing for them. So I'm in a lot, I have a lot of articles in their uh, magazines as well. The Dogs Naturally magazine comes out every two months. So there's six editions a year. Uh, my Nerf 2 article appeared in the January edition of this year. So if you want a, a access to a copy of this, you can go to dogsnaturallymagazine.com. And if you sign up for a digital subscription, you can get any of the back issues and you can go ahead and print this out or email it to people. Uh, as long as it's past two months of publication, they don't mind it being shared, which is awesome. So uh, this article was tailored a little bit, obviously more toward lay people. So a little bit less medical jargon than my articles that appeared in the veterinary medical journals. And it's a nice one to share. All right, so let's talk about oxidative stress from a veterinary perspective. Of course, as I mentioned, oxidative stress affects all tissues in the body. So every cell and every organ is going to be affected. Oxidative stress also affects all species. We're gonna concentrate more tonight on dogs and cats, but of course other animals uh, are affected by the same process in the body. We also know that our companion animals age faster than we do. So it makes perfect sense for us to be addressing or, or utilizing awesome tools that will help us deal with oxidative stress for them and help them to age more gracefully. And then finally, dogs and cats are exposed to a lot more toxins even than we are. And when we think about this, it makes sense. I mean, unfortunately, we're really living in a toxic world today. And it's really great that so many people are, be, are getting more awareness about things that we should try to avoid to the best of our ability. And our pets are exposed to even more toxins than we are because essentially most dogs oftentimes are getting insecticides put on them and in them, you know, ingesting or topically every month. Things like flea products, things like deworming medications, and also, they are spending a lot more time on the ground than we are and in areas where more chemicals may be present. So they're rolling around in the grass. Even if they're not rolling in the grass, their feet are touching the ground. They may be in the grass, the soil, the sand, depending on where you live. And dogs, you know, they sweat through their you know, their feet and the glands in the feet. And so, and the webbed toes kind of collect things and keep them in there and they can absorb through the skin more. So dogs are definitely getting more exposure to a lot of chemicals and a lot of toxins compared to our typical daily, daily level. The other thing is things that they're ingesting, dogs and cats, Tap water is something I really try and recommend to my clients to try to convert over to purified water 
a reverse osmosis unit in your home or some kind of a purifier is not only fantastic for you, but that's a really good thing to be doing for your pets. There's certainly a lot, no matter where you live, there might be cleaner water in certain areas in your tap water system, but I think no matter where you live in the world these days, there are going to be numbers of chemicals, heavy metals, and even hormones and pesticides. And believe me, they only test for a certain number of things. I think like 60 things are tested for, and there's more than 200 contaminants that could be in your tap water. So even in areas where they're tested, there's a lot of other things in there that you may not know about. Uh, the other thing that pets are exposed to uh, it, often is in their food. They eat a lot of heavily processed foods. And, you know, interestingly, veterinary medicine is one of the only health sectors that still, for the, for the generalization, thinks that heavily processed foods are better than not processed foods. Uh, but that, of course, has been in the recent past, uh, traditionally what pets are fed. And so these foods that are, that are cooked at extreme temperatures are going to have higher levels of carcinogens. Of course, they are loaded with preservatives. And they're going to have things like glyphosates, which are uh, pesticides from Roundup and things like that. And they're going to be oftentimes loaded with GMOs, okay? And I could, of course, give a whole lecture for a few hours just on food. But I'm going to point out here this dry kibble. Uh, you can tell that's got to have a lot of preservatives in it. It's got to, you know, have a lot of these toxin type things in it. And even these artificial colors, these pictures over on the right, you see all the colors, which, by the way, dogs can't see. The little rainbow of colors and they even make it fancy for the consumer where they make it look like there's little you know turkey leg shaped corn stuff here uh, which is obviously not natural and has artificial colorings in it but uh, so those are the things that our pets are exposed to on a regular basis so thank goodness pet tandem to the rescue pro tandem to the rescue this is a incredible tool to help our pets deal with the amount of toxins that they have in their world and simple aging and simple degenerative changes that we all go through as we age in life. And as we mentioned before, the NERF2 pathway, which you can see up on the right-hand side, is triggering the DNA to help start that heal the healing pathways to repair our cells that are under free radical damage or oxidative stress to repair them back to a healthy cell. And the uh, picture on the bottom left, you can see, I'm sure most of you know this, but the beauty of turning on these pathways in our body is that glutathione and superox my superoxide dismutase and other powerful antioxidants that come from our internal system are far more powerful than antioxidants that you can eat in foods. And I always recommend to take food-based antioxidants or eat good foods rather than uh, taking synthetic antioxidants. But even with foods, if you're eating wonderful foods that are loaded with vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, those pale in comparison to how much uh, free radical uh, damage can be, can be neutralized compared to antioxidants that come from inside the body, which of course is glutathione, SOD, and catalase and some others. So the beauty of glutathione, boy, pro tandem is so special. Pet tandem is so special. The studies that have shown that it increases glutathione production by 300%. I mean, I, I could just jump up and down just with that fact right there. Uh, glutathione has been called the master antioxidant. It is one of the most powerful detoxifiers in the body. It's actually helping the liver. Now, the liver has such a hardworking job, by the way, in all of our bodies. So I do a lot of liver support for a lot of my patients, you know, herbs and wonderful things like milk thistle and dandelion and all these other things. But when you have more glutathione being produced in the body, the liver is happy because it's getting a big time assistance and helping the body to flush chemicals and hormones and, and helping the body's detoxification processes and repairing the cells. And that's of course what's happening in our dogs and our cats when they get to produce more glutathione as well. So let's talk about LifeVantage uh, creating the dog product. And of course, when the dog product first came out in 2013, it was then called Canine Health. And the company did fantastic studies to show, uh, and they were double blind, placebo controlled, well done studies to show that this product worked very well in dogs. Indeed though, the human version ProTandem had been used 
off-label, obviously, for dogs, cats, and horses for many years. So we knew it was going to work, but they proved that it did work. And they showed with blood testing that it definitely reduced oxidative stress by measures of catalase levels in the blood. They also documented uh, with both owners documenting what they were seeing in their dogs and the investigators documenting on more of a medical scale. And they showed definite improvement with brain function, skin function, eye function, and an increased uh, mobility and joint flexibility and all that. Uh, and of course, cognitive function goes along with brain function. So that's a wonderful thing because we do see a lot of our pets as they age, especially dogs, that get cognitive issues and things that are very comparable to human dementia. So this is a wonderful product for so many reasons. The other thing I like to point out is, of course, it's got the same active ingredients in it as Protandum. It's got the five herbal ingredients, milk, thistle, turmeric, green tea extract, ashwagandha, and bacopa. I really like to point out to my clients and will also to you that it's a patented synergy in the ProTandem product. That is really important because as an herbalist, I know all of these herbs singly are fantastic. They're doing wonderful things for the body, but this, this patented blend does something very different than any of these herbs will do by themselves. So when people tell me, oh yeah, I'm on three of those already or four of those or even five, that's great but this product will do something completely different than those herbs taken singly. And the doses of each of these uh, in this patented blend are actually less than, because in a synergy, a lot of times less is more. And so these are a lot uh, less than a typical standard therapeutic dose. And Dr. McCord showed that if he raised or lowered these by even a little bit, it would throw off the action of, you know, of the synergy, which is why he was able to patent it. And I believe it's at least 11 times patented. I don't know if that's changed at all, Sveta, but I believe there were six U.S. patents and five international patents on the ProTandem synergy. So just understand how special this synergy is, even though there's five fabulous herbs uh, that make up this synergy. The other neat thing about the dog product is they made it uh, tasty. Okay, they made it very palatable uh, by adding bacon flavoring, smoke flavoring, chicken and liver, uh, and making it a chewable tablet because the herbs in this formula taste yucky. <laughs> and a lot of herbs taste yucky. They're very, you know, oftentimes herbs are very bitter. Uh, and if you ever chew on a protandum, you'll know it doesn't taste so good. So it's nice that they did a palatable dog version. And they also added collagen, type 2 collagen from chicken. Uh, sternum, actually cartilage, and uh, omega-3 fatty acids, which are, which are very useful as well, obviously, for joints and other things in the body. And I recommend omega fatty acids for everybody, in food sources especially as well. So just to quickly show you, there again, I mentioned very good study done for the canine product. Uh, it was a 60-day study with 80 dogs. It was blinded. It was placebo-controlled. Very, very well done. And it was presented in uh, the um, uh, Environmental Biology Journal from uh, Dr. – can you hear me? Yeah. From uh, Dr. Talbot and Dr. Chevreau actually presented that. So let's move on. I'm not sure where all this writing is coming from. All this blue and red, it's not me. Okay, uh, so can you see the next slide with the NASC? Okay, great. So I will make a point of the fact that yes, Life Vantage, when it was Canine Health, before it uh, was changed over to Protanum, of course, was the first on the market in the uh, animal you know, sector of supplements to specifically address oxidative stress. So talk about cutting edge medicine. Life Vantage is truly on cutting edge nutrigenomics, which is my passion. So I resonate with this company, I resonate with these products, and I'm thrilled about recommending them. Uh, the NASC symbol is something I want you all to know about as well. Uh, the NASC is the National Animal Supplement Council, and that would be akin to the NSF organization or the B, uh, Banned, Substances, Banned Substances Control Group, BSCG, which are certifications that the human pro tandem product has achieved. The uh, Life Vantage company was fantastic in applying and achieving for the NASC symbol for the canine product. And this is special because the vast majority of animal supplements or pet supplements on the market have no 
third party seal of approval and they're not being tested they're not being double checked and oftentimes you have no idea what kind of quality and even what kind of contents are in a lot of the products that you buy for your pets so i always counsel my clients look for that nasc symbol on any product that you buy that i'm not explicitly telling you that i know the background and this is a really good product if you see that symbol you know it's from a quality manufacturer and it's a quality product because it's a third party organization, independent organization that has very rigorous guidelines for quality control, labeling, reporting of any adverse events. They have random product testing and they actually have random facility audits where they'll just show up at the facility and check things out as well. So this is a really good seal to be looking for. And I am thrilled that LifeVantage has such a commitment to quality that they sought out and achieved the NASC. Because most consumers don't even know what that is. And so people would probably buy the product if it wasn't there. And it's really good for you to know what that is so that you can share that with uh, other you know, distributors or prospects or whoever you're sharing the product with. So. Pardon me, Dr. King. Yeah. Perhaps if you stop sharing the screen and then restart, maybe the lines will go away. Uh, okay, let's do that. Thank you for suggesting stop share. Share screen. Aha! You are brilliant. Thank you. Let's see if that holds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, can you all hear me? Yes, okay. we can. Okay. Thank you. All right. So then, let's let's address what I get a lot of questions about: is can Pro Tandem help my dog or my neighbor's dog or my distributor's dog or my team member's dog? And so people call me all the time and ask me about certain conditions and will Pet Tandem or Pro Tandem help with that? And my answer is generally always the same. Will, will Pet Tandem or Pro Tandem help with XYZ condition in dogs and cats? Well, of course, if we revisit our oxidative stress wheel, we know that pretty much every disease or condition or degenerative problem and simple aging are affected by oxidative stress. So it stands to reason that no matter what type of condition the pet has, that yes, addressing the oxidative stress is absolutely gonna benefit the condition and the pet's body and their ability to overcome or minimize the problems with those conditions. And so even though we can't claim that pet tandem or pro tandem treat, mitigate, or cure any specific diseases, it doesn't take a sleuth to be able to figure out that when it addresses oxidative stress as effectively as it does, of course, it's going to address about any or, or help the pet's body address any condition that can be mentioned. So just like it doesn't take a sleuth to figure out that this dog indeed was likely the one who dug up the garden, even though he's trying to suggest that perhaps it was the cat. Well, let's go to the next slide. So, and then touching on safety and efficacy, the great thing about Pro Tandem and Pet Tandem is that really there's no known side effects. There's no known drug interaction. So you don't have to worry about if the pet's on other medication, if the pet's on other supplements, it's not gonna interact with anything. I do recommend for people and for pets, if possible, but it's not imperative, I do recommend if they're on other herbal ingredients or herbal supplements that are part of the, of the special synergy formula, say if they're on milk thistle or turmeric or some of these other things, ideally it's nice to give it at a separate time of the day to allow the special synergy to have its full effect. But a lot of you know health experts still think that that synergy is working and if it's too hard to remember to take it at a different time of day or give it to your pet at a different time of day by all means just give it when it's convenient the other thing that i would recommend uh, to consider is starting at a half dose especially in a larger animal where it's easy to start at a half dose uh, and i as a practitioner may use a little caution if the pet is really sick at the time or they have a lot of gastrointestinal problems or a weak stomach or they're having bloody diarrhea. It might not be the exact time that I'm going to recommend to start pro tandem, but other than the timing, there's really no patient I wouldn't recommend it for. I mean, it, it, it's so useful that every single patient can use it no matter what's going on or as I mentioned, even for prevention. 
So even if there's not a disease going on, we still want it in the body. And so I love this, uh, this little picture, you know, friends don't let friends have oxidative stress. And so I wanted to point out, of course, who is man's best friend? Well, we could, we could include cats in this picture, but obviously, uh, you know, the slogan of dogs being man's best friend, hooray for life vantage for creating a pet specific product or a canine specific product for us to protect our best friends from oxidative stress, especially with the volume of information that's coming out now in cutting edge medicine and wellness, understanding how oxidative stress affects all health on every level, having such an incredible tool to help our best friends is really a tremendous, tremendous benefit. So I did want to mention, although pet, it's wonderful having a dog approved product, it's wonderful having a product that was specifically studied in dogs, that was specifically formulated for dogs, you can also use pro tandem in animals. And of course it was used in animals long before the canine health product was made and then the conversion of you know, the name to over to pet tandem. And so if you look at the uh, milligram uh, strength of the herbal synergy in pet tandem versus pro tandem, it takes four chewable wafer pet tandem tablets to equal one pro tandem human tablet, okay? So that would mean obviously that a quarter of a pro tandem tablet equals one pet tandem chewable wafer. So you can kind of extrapolate from the, uh, the uh, labeling on the dog product, the pet tandem product, where toy dogs and cats would be taking an eighth of a tablet of pro tandem, small dogs would do a quarter, medium dogs a half, and large dogs a whole tablet of pro tandem. Now, the three advantages of giving pet tandem to pets over pro tandem in my mind, of course you're not gonna be having the type two cartilage is not included, obviously the flavoring is not included, so it's not gonna be a nice, yummy, chewable tablet, and there is an omega-3s added. However, Pro tandem is definitely more, more cost effective for big dogs, okay? And this sometimes can make or break whether or not some of my clients are going to put their pets on it, especially if they live in households with multiple big dogs. When you have three 80 pound dogs, keeping them all on pet tandem continuously can be a lot you know, more of an investment than keeping them on pro tandem. And sometimes people simply can't do that. So that's one reason. The second reason is there are a lot of dogs with food allergies and there are a lot of dogs with known chicken allergies and people get very concerned about buying any kind of treats or even chewable tablets that have chicken ingredients or other ingredients that are not just the herbs. Okay. So that's another reason. The third reason that makes pro tandem useful in companion animals is it's generally a lot easier to get into cats. Kitties are usually not going to eat pet tandem. There are some kitties that will, but the vast majority of cats, you can't, cats are not up for the trickery that dogs often are, are fine with. Cats are not going to fall for typically the bacon flavor and the chicken flavor. They can smell the herbs, they can taste the herbs, and most of them will not eat that. So it's a lot easier to get an eighth of a pro tandem tablet because it's so tiny into a kitty than it is to get a half of a big pet tandem wafer, okay? And if you get a pill cutter, you buy a little pill cutter in any drugstore, a couple of bucks, uh, you, can, you can actually quite effectively and easily get pro tandem section to eights, okay? So that's easy to do. And then some of my clients choose to you know, do that for the dogs and put them in quarter tabs, half tabs, or whatever. So that's a nice thing to know about. And then the other thing I wanted to call your attention to is there's some fabulous FAQ and product sheets that are available for all distributors in the back office. Okay, a lot of people contact me and ask me very specific questions about pet tandem and pro tandem for use in dogs. And these questions are very effectively addressed and well, well covered. I'm, I'm very impressed with the FAQ sheet actually that Life Vantage has put together. It's very thorough. And I would recommend that you familiarize yourself with the FAQ sheet. 
uh, things are, are presented in a very nice outline form, things are answered very well. These are things that you can share with your prospects or share with other distributors or in team meetings so that everybody really understands uh, all the details and the facts about uh, the product and the usage of the product. And so the way to find these, uh, these resources in the back office is to go to the communications tab at the top and then find the message center and then scroll to the library, click on the library, and then scroll pretty far down. It's under Pet Tandem is under True Science. And there will be the product sheet, the FAQ sheet, and even the, uh, the study summary sheet. So it'll answer some questions about the studies. All right, that's mainly what I put together for tonight. And I know I threw a lot of information at you and hopefully it was half as exciting for you to get this information as it is for me to share this information. One of my patients, Nova, uh, this was posted on our Facebook page and Nova and I wanted to tell you that we're thrilled that you're attending so that you can use this information to help your pets and uh, other people's pets. And Nova's really happy to know that you're interested in helping other animals that are uh, gonna benefit just like she does. And my doggy Sage thanks you for your attention. We both uh, thank you for attending with us tonight. This is incredible. This was the happiest, happiest webinar ever. Yes. This is, we maxed it. We had 100 people and Kitty. Now, if you want to stop sharing and address a few questions, we'll be off. Okay. All right. Thank Let me hit so much. Okay. You can Kitty. click on chat, right? You can see the questions. Uh, let's see, chat. Okay, yes. Awesome, yay. So this first person, her cat eats it. Good job. Well, yay. my cat ate it for four and a half years. That's awesome. Some kitties can do that. I no, will I yeah, she didn't eat it. I gave it to her, like, like you know, I extended her life for eight and a half years. Uh, on that, on that uh, uh, thread too, Sveta, this is really nice to mention. One of the other things that I point out to my clients that's such a, a wonderful thing for both cats and dogs is that it's only once a day dosing. And this is such a beautiful aspect for people too because I really know supplements and herbs and there are a lot of uh, nutritional supplements and herbs that are not going to be as effective if they're not taken multiple times a day. So one of the beautiful aspects of pet tandem and pro tandem is that it's completely effective at one dose a day. So the nice thing is, is if you have to give it as a pill to your cat, at least it only needs to be done once a day, which is a really great thing. Awesome. Can I ask a quick question? Please. This is Maud Latimer. Uh, my dog is a schnauzer and he's almost seven and he's very healthy. He's been on pet tandem for a while now, but he's getting this crusty little bumpsy stuff just down his back. And I don't know what it is, but it, it feels terrible. Like little... Yeah. You would definitely, you definitely need to go see your veterinarian for that because there's, there's a lot of different things that could be. So there's, there's definitely, uh, you know, not an accurate way for me to, you know, give yeah. that. but I didn't know I, I've ever heard of that. Yeah. There dermatology problems, allergies, uh, dermatitis, skin problems are one of the, and in fact, it's actually listed as the most common reason that dogs see their veterinarians these days, which is sad but true. Der dermatitis problems are, are, are rampant. Uh, allergies are a big deal. Uh, but I would encourage you, if you have a holistic veterinarian in your area, uh, I think the results are more long-standing and safer than the typical conventional route of treating skin problems. But regardless, uh, you should definitely have your, have your uh, doggy evaluated at a veterinarian for sure. But I'm glad, but keep her on pet tandem. <laughs> That's helping. How is NRF1 or Axio for dogs and other animals? You know, 
I knew people would ask that and I will answer that. Oh, good. Someone wrote about ketogenic. I recommend ketogenic diets all the time, guys. Um, I'm going to a cancer, uh, formulating cancer diets for pets the next weekend, and that's going to be on ketogenic diets too. Um, so in respect to the Nerf One product, I'm not using it yet um, because there's, there's just so much uh, controversial inf information out there on grapes grape seed extract, grape extract, and the Nerf One product does use grape seed, grape skin, and grape, grape fruit, grape, or not fruit, but you know, the flesh of the grape in the, um, in the product. And so um, I, I don't feel comfortable recommending it for my patients until there's more information on it. Um, and honestly, I have so many tools in my practice that I utilize between different, you know, food therapy, nutritional supplements, herbs, that I have not really uh, looked at implementing Nerf One to date, but hopefully more questions will be answered on that and maybe studies will be done at some point. But so far I'm not using it and I don't have enough uh, clinical experience or, or even know of any studies that, that I feel safe to recommend it. Um, Axio, same thing. I you know, I'm not using it. I don't know of anybody else uh, veterinary wise that's using it. So I wouldn't tend to uh, recommend that. I have a lot of other products that I really love to use for dogs that have a lot of the same ingredients in it that Axio does, such as a lot of the B vitamins and minerals and things like that. So, um, so to date, I'm not recommending any of them. So I really don't have any clinical information for dosing or safety. So um, I don't know. I can start looking at some of these questions. Um, if, oh, please do. Absolutely. Well, the funny thing is it says, will this be helpful for lipomas? Mm. Oh, your lab looks like Sage. Well, as I said, it's helpful for everything. So you almost don't need to ask that in the, other than the fact that we can't say it's going to make the lipomas go away, but it's absolutely going to give the body more tools to neutralize the inflammation, the free radical damage that leads to cancer, that leads to tumors, that leads to other degenerative diseases. So absolutely, it's going to be helpful for any condition and it will help any, you know, the body regardless of what's going on, including lipomas. So the answer to that is yes. Um, do I recommend upping the dose? That's a good question. Uh, when people take Nerf two a day. Okay. So, um, I rarely put dogs on twice a day, but every once in a while I will, if they have cancer and people's budget is, um, accommodating because I'm typically doing a lot of other treatments, uh, then I will recommend pet tandem or pro tandem twice a day for the average dog. Uh, you know, unless it's a, it's a really extreme, you know, disease condition, I typically just keep it out once a day and keep it simple for people. There's a lot of pet owners that, um, especially doing what I do because I make so many recommendations because I work with a lot of tools and a lot of modalities that I don't like to overwhelm people. And sometimes, you know, just keeping things simple means it's going to get done. Just like with humans, a lot of times if you pick up a supplement that you're supposed to take two or three times a day, oftentimes you start out doing it and then you stop because you're like, oh, three times a day, I can't keep up with that. And then it sits in the bottle and collects dust. And one of the things I always tell people is nutritional supplements can't work if they're sitting in the bottle. They have to get in the body. And the beautiful thing about protandum and pet tandem is that it only requires one dose a day to effectively address oxidative stress. And one dose a day is simple. Almost everybody can do that. And oftentimes people are better about giving stuff to their pets than themselves. But so once a day is my routine. Um, yeah, you know, Life Vantage uh, on their FAQ sheet, someone's asking about breeding and lactating. Uh, you know, doggies, is it safe? They specifically say that it has not been tested in breeding and lactating. And, you know, human doctors will always tell you, be cautious, you know, don't, uh, pregnant women have to be so careful. And so most people's just for liability purposes say avoid with pregnancy and lactation. Um, as far as I know, I think it's very safe. Um, so I would leave that up to you, but the product uh, FAQ sheet says there's no studies available in that. Um, would you suggest twice daily for the pro tandem for a dog with cancer? I would. 
Yeah. Okay. So if people are willing to do that, yes, I would. So well, I already do the ketogenic diet and make all of his food anyway. So good. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> and you're supp and you're supplementing with calcium and minerals, right? Oh God, yeah. Okay, good. Yay. Okay. Excellent, excellent. I, I talk about ketogenic diets all the time. Good for you. Um, let's see. Uh, pets can have autism. How, how does Protanum help them? Same thing, guys. <laughs> Back to the oxidative stress wheel. That's the thing. You don't know. You know. We know that. There's so much information about NERF2 with neurodegenerative diseases in people. Um, you know, NERF2 has been studied with Parkinson's, MS, ALS, dementia, so autism. So yes, if pets have something that's similar to autism or dementia or anything neurodegenerative, I see dogs with degenerative myelopathy. I don't know if you guys are aware of a condition and um, it's very common in German shepherds, but it can occur in any breed. And it is uh, degenerative myelopathy. So the myelation around the spinal cord starts degenerating. And unfortunately, they have a very rapid progression of uh, hind limb paralysis, which eventually extends up the whole spine and they become completely par uh, paralyzed. And it happens very, very fast. You better believe one of the first things I recommend to get in that dog's body is protandum or pet tandem. Because anything neurodegenerative, addressing oxidative stress, is absolutely phenomenally beneficial. And I will tell you something else that I think is exciting. It's maybe a little scientific, but there are some veterinary experts that are known, like Dr. Roger Clemens is a, is a veterinary neurologist in Florida, and he's one of the leading authorities on uh, his studies that he's done in degenerative myelopathy for dogs, neurodegenerative disease in dogs. And on the list of, there's a lot of food supplements and things that are recommended to combat uh, the progression of degenerative myelopathy. And one of the things on the list is um, N-acetylcysteine and um, SAMe. And SAMe, if, if some of you have heard of SAMe, it stands for S-acetylmethionine. Um, it is a uh, something that's known to be very beneficial for the liver and for you know uh, helping the, the liver repair and detoxifying. Well, the, the reason why these things are so useful in the body is because they're precursors to glutathione. So knowing that vets are prescribing SAMe all the time for pets with liver problems or toxic, you know, toxic problems. And the reason that that's working is because it's helping glutathione production. Well, boy, do we have an incredible tool in something that we know increases glutathione production by 300%. So when products like SAMe are being recommended all the time by veterinarians, it'd be, it'd be really great if more veterinarians knew about the value of pet tandem and pro tandem, so. Katie, when would you put a young animal on pro tandem? Let's say I have an, a year old cat. She's basically, yeah. totally. when would you put her on pro tandem? Yeah, now the, the uh, labeling or the FAQ sheet for the canine product uh, says 12 weeks and up or four pounds and up. So you could start as a puppy. I generally tell people, I mean, you could start that early. I generally tell people six months, you know, I mean, you could start before that, but I think sometimes, you know, there's a lot going on when they're puppies and other things. And I let people funnel their money into other things and then start them when they're six months. So definitely by a year, uh, Dr. Sveta, for cats or dogs, I would get them started. So the sooner the better. Again, their oxidative stress is, you know, occurring uh, faster in the body and, and earlier, you know, at earlier ages than we are. And they're exposed, they're exposed to so many things, you know, so many toxins that the body well, has. Speaking of toxins, I think my cat was walking on neighbor's lawn and got exposed to pesticides and got sick. How is about NRF2 for support for service dogs? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, a lot of people uh, have given their own testimonials and feedback about Nerf 2 and Pro Tandem helping with anxiety. And I've definitely seen that to appear to uh, be a similar uh, benefit for dogs. So definitely something that I recommend as well. There's lots of other things I recommend for anxiety, but Nerf 2 and, and Pet Tandem would absolutely be on my list of good options to do for sure. So I, I, would, I would certainly use it for anxiety. Um, how does it affect the adrenal glands? 
somebody's asking. I don't know exactly what you're referring to. I mean, the adrenal glands are involved in so much in the body. Obviously, the adrenal glands, you know, they regulate uh, steroid, uh, you know, production and release. Um, steroids are very, corticosteroids are very involved in stress. Uh, so m most people know you can, uh, you can have maxed out adrenal glands if you're under stress all the time, which a lot of people are these days. And, and by the way, our animals feel our stress. Um, animals do undergo a lot of stress in today's day and age. Um, I always tell people, you know, technology is a beautiful thing in a lot of ways, but we are overstimulated in society today. We have a lot of sensory perception overload. We are multitasking to the nth degree. Um, you know, we've got, you know, Facebook and Twitter and email and texting and, you know, we're constantly on the go. Case in point, our adrenals are challenged all the time because we're constantly on the go. And, uh, and the adrenals can always use support. The ashwagandha portion in, um, you know, pet tandem and pro tandem is known to specifically be an adaptogen and help adrenals. Uh, but again, this is a synergy. So, but still, again, the adrenals are gonna benefit from a reduction of oxidative stress. So absolutely from probably a direct and an indirect way, the, the adrenals are gonna benefit. So Addison's will benefit, Addison's disease, yes. Uh, wondering if I've used pet tandem with rescues, uh, a lot of stress and resulting gastrointestinal issues. Absolutely. I would use it with anybody. I would use it with anybody. And definitely if they have allergies, I would use it with that too. Now, there's always a potential possibility that a human or an animal could be allergic to any ingredient in there. It's rare. I don't see it very often, but it's possible. There's an occasional person or an occasional animal that does not tolerate the formula. Okay. But that's rare. Um, it's generally the benefit is far outweighs, you know, any, any risk of that ever being a problem for anybody. I do tell people for themselves and for animals, um, you're probably going to see some good results within 30 days, but definitely give it a full 90 days before you're really, you know, evaluating for full effect because it can take some time for changes to occur in the body. So if you don't see immediate changes, uh, you know, don't stop the product just because you haven't seen changes. Um, and even if you're not seeing the exact symptoms, and I, and I tell people this all the time, I know with all the studies behind Nerf 2 and behind these products that no matter what's going on in the body, these products are helping on a cellular level. They're helping internally, even if the symptoms that you're after are not resolving to your hopeful expectations, there's still other things in the body that are absolutely benefiting that you can't see. So I still recommend to keep them on it. Um, and I hope that, you know, I always hope that the symptoms that we're, that we're after are going to be mitigated. But um, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, I have a, my name's Angela and I have a, um, a German shepherd who at 10 months was diagnosed with severe hip dysplasia. Okay. And the vet showed me the x-rays and said, if I didn't do bilateral hip replacements, I'd be pu probably putting him down by the age of two. So by two, he was really in a lot of pain. And um, I really thought I was going to be putting him down. But um, I have put him on pro tandem. He's doing really well. But um, if dog, I, I have, my question is when dogs have hip dysplasia, can they get like peripheral neuropathy in their tails? Because he chases his tail. Like it's like all of a sudden he just, like he feels something and he just starts going after it, you know, um, like. I would say a couple of things to that. Um, how old is the dog now? He's three now. Okay. So hooray for being on pro tandem. That's going to be huge. I definitely you want some omega fatty acids and fish oils. And I would do bone broth as a phenomenal medicinal food, by the way, as well. That's my, one of my favorite supplements now. Um, just so you know, there's a study out of the University of Montreal for humans with osteoarthritis, specifically using brand name pro tandem. So that's exciting. That's one of the more recent peer reviewed studies that came out. Um, so, uh, absolutely. We know that the pet tandem is going to be helping the dog or the pro tandem. Um, your, your question specifically about the symptoms that are going on with the tail right now, I would say a couple of different, um, perspectives on that is one, um, well, I, I would recommend chiropractic for your dog for sure. If you can find a good animal chiropractor in your area, when there's hip dysplasia, 
and there's pain in the hips and there's dysfunction in those joints, that is going to cause, cause compensation issues in other parts of the body. Obviously, if you have you know, pain and dysfunction, then you're going to shift your weight differently or bear your weight differently. So something may be happening in the lumbosacral spine or the pelvis above the hips because of the way your dog's using the hips, and that may be taking a toll on the tail. Okay, the nerves that lead to the tail may be, uh, you know, affected by some com com uh, compensation issues. But the other thing is, it could be a completely separate problem. So there could be something completely different going on in the lumbosacral spine that is affecting the nerves that go to the tail. So I would, you know, you could definitely have an x-ray taken. Sometimes it won't be diagnosed on an x-ray. Sometimes you need more advanced imaging, like an MRI or, you know, whatever. Um, but chiropractic, can be amazing for dogs. And I have two chiropractors that work with me. I do minimal chiropractic and I have full on DC human doctor chiropractics that are fully animal certified that work in my practice. And I see tremendous benefits with my patients. So I, I recommend that highly. So I would do that for your doggy if you could. Uh, do somebody's asking, um, do dogs detox like humans do? Yes, they can. Um, and that is one of the reasons why as an herbalist and a practitioner, I know the label on the protanum and the pet tannin bottle don't say to start at a reduced dose. It says to start at the, at the recommended dosing, but I generally recommend for all my patients and for people that I talk to, I gen generally recommend to start at a half dose because most people will not recognize a detox, uh, scenario when they start it, or most animals won't you won't see that, but sometimes you can. And people who feel that detox, because, you know, I always tell people, this is an incredible formula. It's helping clean up cellular trash. This is helping your body clean up from the inside out. So, you know, it does stand to reason that you could feel a little bit crummy on it, especially if your body has a lot to let go of, a lot, lot to detox. And so um, I think, you know, oftentimes if people start on a full dose and they feel crummy, like they have the flu or they get some digestive issues or some headaches, sometimes people get headaches, then they may be afraid of the product and they may wanna stop taking it. And so I generally tell people with your pet or with yourself, it's often easier to go forward slowly than it is to back up if you've had an issue, okay? So starting at a half a dose is never a bad thing, and I do recommend that for animals too, if at all possible. Um, yay, someone wrote in that their puppy had a tail adjusted by a chiropractor and it made an incredible difference. Whoop, whoop. That's awesome. Am I missing anything? Any other questions that I didn't address? I tried to scroll here through the best. This is awesome. Thank you so, so much, Dr. King. This is incredible. Please promise to me that I will not get you back in two years. No, this I promise. Best I promise. webinar ever, like ever. Hey. And the happiest one. Okay, maybe quarterly or however often. You just tell me. Fine. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, on your behalf and stuff, I would like to thank Dr. Kangas and see you soon. Good night, guys.